full frequency. Okay, but gliding in theme is actually it, really it's good. It's really good, but I don't want to hear it every single time. No, I, I get you. <laughs> you. You gotta have some variety. I also like gliding in theme more on like a stage like like uh, Kalos. Okay, but here we go. Yeah. So we have Muriel's Rocking Wolf and Eon, of course, going with the Fox. Uh, I think this last WNF or Fad? No, it was at Fad. You ended up getting second to Larry. Yes. Already early. Ooh, great parry coming off from Eon. Uh, again, just early going. He's going into the 1v1 situation to an extent. Spacey's on Spacey's. Or Young Link, sorry. Excuse me. Okay, good neutral air. Landing down one more time to Zare. Tether. Go ahead and get back. And I think that's one thing that Zan was really looking forward to, as you said. Coming from the Toon Link, going to the Young Link, he's able to go ahead and replicate a lot of the play that he had in Smash 4. But now with this character, you can do stuff like that. Arrow leading into that up air. Absolutely. It's really fun to see uh, Eon. He's, he's playing very, very safe. I like it. I mean, he has the frame data to work with. Fox still an incredibly strong character as he was before. Uh, some people might say he's a little bit better now, even. Oh my oh, goodness, oh, that down air is just cleaning up shop. Yeah. Unfortunately, getting his teammate, but you know what? You have Phoenix sitting at 130 now. Yeah, Zen understanding how to get away from a lot of these situations. And I do like the fact that he's allowing Eon oh to really just God. play his aggressive style just like that, getting the stock. And you have Zan in the back just tossing out the projectiles, racking up every little percent. Then you have your teammate being the aggressor to clean up the stocks. Yeah, what I want to see more of uh, here is, is, and I think they're they're trying to get down to this strategy where Zan is uh, taking on the Fox potentially. I mean, they're. I, I like to see it because I see the combos that are coming out on on Wolf. Excuse me. He he, he is kind of a, a combo food. But uh, maybe yeah, I mean, really that, that could go for any spacey, yeah, honestly. Yeah, for real. Fast falling characters. Good call out with that forward smash out of Zan, but he's gonna get caught. By that forwarder from Phoenix, dropping down to get that stock. Yeah. Great stuff on the part of the blue team. They want to hurry up and try to get themselves back into the set. Four to four stocks apiece here, uh, with one on each team at high damage now. Ooh, no attack, dash attack, not going to do it. And homing attack there. That is a key part of Sonic's game plan now within his kit. Homing attack, whenever yeah. you're going out of these spin dashes, the homing attack is so much faster yeah, now. And it's it's kind of sure. a move where you cannot react a couple of times. You just have to feel it. Yeah, that's pretty much the general consensus between players is that you, you can't react to that. You're going to have to anticipate the Sonic player using a homing attack. So it's more of a, a positional move now. Oh, oh that, I forgot. That, that up B goes so far, man. Eon's, Eon's safe. He's all good. Yeah, we have Mirio at his last stock, getting hit right back off stage. Great Z drop out from Zen, trying to clean it up. Oh, I thought he was going to fall up with the forwarder. Not oh, going to get it. No. Air dodge not allowing him to get that ledge. Oh my goodness. Let's go, Eon. <laughs> Keep up these up airs. Like, nothing's changed. Uh, great conversion there from Phoenix 2 and potential edge guard, but Eon with the pickup. Oh, Ooh. using the Firefox. Oh, right. wow. Single neutral air. Not going to do much, though. Uh oh. Phoenix still living here, tries to go deep into that forward air to get Zan, and there does the bomb. The down air is not going to take it. The up air will yeah. following up Eon on Cookie Slayer, taking the first game. Yeah, with three stocks uh, intact still. Of course, Zan a very high damage, but even if he had lost that sock, he would have been able to, you know, 2v1, very fresh socks. Yeah. It would have it been an uphill climb for Phoenix, not saying he couldn't have done it, but... Yeah. No, for but sure. I mean, you already see Zan showing off the traps and the setups that he's come up with for Young Link, dropping the bomb, using that arrow, and then immediately yeah. going with that down air. Such high knockback when you're able to go ahead and get that sour spot instead of the spike hitbox. And bo both, I mean, it, it's it's fun to see because you would think that, you know, Young Link is a zoner, which he is, but he is also a very, like, combo-heavy mm -hmm. character. Because I, I, of I would say he's a, he he's a pseudo-zoner. He has yeah. the tools to go ahead and do it and rack up that percent, but when he goes in and in close quarters, he can actually go ahead and contest with love those type of fighters yeah. as well. Yep, I love it. Scott, everything. Mm -hmm. So it, it, another character that, at the very least, he's, he's going to remain good. Like, it, there's very few things that you could do to a character like Young Link to nerf them, quote-unquote, and they, they would be bad, you know? Ooh, okay, so we have a switch team. coming out from okay. both members of the blue team. I like Young Phoenix Link. Phoenix coming with the Inkling yeah. and Mirio I, with I've, Lucas. I've been uh, I've been wanting to see what 
sort of uh, things can be come up with with the roller in play and in Inkling, so I'm, I'm excited to see this match. Already going straight back to Stadium. Uh, I agree with the pick. You know, a couple of things did not go blue team's way. So just want to try to adapt, understanding what they did. Try to take it away. Zen already trying to go so aggressive off stage. PK freeze. I actually didn't know that you can actually change the direction and go right back to the ledge. I thought you it kept going with the momentum forward. Oh no, yeah, you can pull it back a little bit. It doesn't go too far, but yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's best. Not gonna be online either. Forward tilt out from Eon, just trying to go for this tech chase, but here we have the blue team looking quite clean here in the second game, it's switching little, it up. A little hard to see who the blue team is after all. Uh, uh, looks like just, cir circuit pick blue ink here. Yeah, look, everyone's the blue. Everyone is the blue team maybe, right now. Maybe with that's the strat, dude. <laughs> after all, uh, I mean, it's not a bad strat as long as your opponent or your teammate pays attention. Ink does add a damage multiplier to your opponent as they are ink. So there's moves like F smash, splat bomb, uh, forward throw that ink your opponent. And depending on how much ink you have, it'll determine the, the duration and how much damage multiplier you get. Uh, that was so there. dirty for me on coming up in there, getting that footstool and messing with the trajectory that Muriel wanted to do to go ahead and try to recover. And just like that, he was unable to go ahead and make it back. All right, forward air. Still not going to take that stock away. Phoenix has to be careful with those splat bombs, especially if his teammate's just trying to go ahead and combo. I'd like to see him try to go for neutral air instead to really just keep him yeah. basically within that vortex when Lucas is able to go ahead and get a grab or able to land that neutral air. Yeah, splat bomb a really great tool, I feel. It does use a lot of ink as well, so you got to keep that in mind. I think it's a better tool just it's for ledge goals, trapping, yeah. really, or even for exactly. an edge guard if you want to go it, ahead and try doubles. to force them to hurry up and get up from that ledge. Absolutely, I agree. And doubles is a little bit more of an obstacle for everyone to get around. Ooh, trying to go ahead and take out that stock right away. And Eon, understanding, even if he loses his stock with that back air, the trade is very favorable. Phoenix by himself now. Yeah, this is not a great situation for Phoenix. Oh, but he gets a down air. Of course, not enough for Fox to get sent down with a double jump. Yeah, a little feet. bit too early right now. Eon dash tag leading to the up smash. 71 now. But Phoenix going to have to be careful. Can't take too many more hits. Ooh, there go the arrows. Luckily, that platform actually was there to go ahead and save him. There we go, another neutral air coming out. Phoenix keeping up the fight with that forward smash, a forward throw, keeping himself safe still. Oh, he's going in right now. I like the way he's spacing around with his forward smash. Oh, he got clipped, still had his double jump. Maybe he recovers. Both of them losing the stock. Two gone, 1v1 so situation for Phoenix, but he is sitting at 118. Gonna right. be a mountain to climb to try to even yeah. up this set. And he can't take any more of these neutral airs. I mean, the way that Zan plays, he's very proficient. I mean, he's gonna drop a bomb right here, probably drop a neutral air eventually. Putting up the pressure at the ledge, I mean, all of this is good. Yeah, charge up that ink, oh, but there we have it, the drag down leading into the forward tilt. Okay. Boomerang. Not quite gonna downward. take that stock, but it is good enough neutral air at the ledge. Yeah, really well played from 